Steph asked this. Um, she texted in the question, should we refrain from singing songs that are coming from these charismatic churches and just yeah. that are propagating the mm-hmm. teachings of that church and also giving them monetary, you know, like, they're, they're gaining money from cuts. the music that they're producing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I've actually written an article about this for the Gospel Coalition. Which we'll put in the show notes. Okay. It's, a, yep. it's definitely worth reading. You can click right to it. And so I'll just give you the principles that I put in that particular article because I think they're still relevant. Um, First of all, um, you should examine everything you consume through the lens of God's word. I think we've already said that, right? Yeah. Beware, um, you know, that, that just because somebody has truth in one spot doesn't mean you listen to, and believe to everything they say. And anytime you hear anybody speak, okay, Paul said, who wrote the New Testament, Paul said, if I or an angel of God teach you something contrary to biblical truth, let them be accursed, right? Yeah. Don't listen to them. So everything you hear, you should run back through the grid of uh, the word of God in prayer. Secondly, um, you got to ask yourself, is this song just standing on its own that you're singing, is it true, okay, um, without having to go and study God's word? I, I want to know the songs that we're singing, and I'm going to get to the specific question, should we sing them if they come from these errant ministries? Yeah. Um, I, I would just say when I sing a song, I want to know, is the song true or do I have to explain it extensively why it's true? Because every time I sing it, I don't want to have to teach for 15 minutes around yeah. it, right. okay, yeah. to, to explain it. So like even like um, when we sing, come thou fount of every blessing, right? It says, I lift up my Ebenezer. There, there's nothing wrong with saying that. That's actually a phrase from your Bible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we don't do that because we have to teach every time. Like what in the world is an Ebenezer? <laughs> yeah. So we- Do you know? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Do you know what it is? Isn't it like like a memorial? Yes, yeah, like a, a rock. Like you stack the rocks by the river to remember what God has that's done? That's right. It's a rock of, of remembrance, or really a rock of help. That w- that's what exactly um, what God has done. So I lift up my monument to the help that God has given me. So there okay. you go. Yeah. Okay, but most people don't know yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want I to, to teach it, it every yeah. single time that I sing it, right? And, and so... Um, you know, I think you want to ask yourself, is the song clear, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. even if it's not contradicting truth, I don't want to have to teach a sermon around every song. Yeah. The song itself should be true. Thirdly, is it possible to um, separate the truth being sung from the errors of his association? So mm-hmm. I don't know anybody who says we shouldn't sing It Is Well With My Soul. Yeah. Do you guys know who wrote It Is Well With My Soul? Um, I, I, no, I, you, you should, uh, yeah. Yeah, but you will one day when you study this a little bit more. It's Horatio Spafford. Horatio Spafford was a, a guy that later in his life had what was called a messianic complex. He believed he was the Messiah. Wow. Okay. okay? Um, I, I just mentioned Come Thou Found of Every Blessing. Yeah. Um, you know, that was written, and the guy that wrote Come Thou Found of Every Blessing later became um, an apostate. You know, mm-hmm. he, he, he actually didn't just say, I was prone to wonder, he wandered away. Now, there's some discussion that probably later yeah. in his life he came back, but um, you know Martin Luther, who we, we often talk about in a way that's amazing, Martin Luther also wrote some things that weren't amazing about the Jewish people. Mm. So should we sing A Mighty Fortress Is Our God? Mm. Okay, so what I would just say is, sometimes you gotta ask yourself, is it possible to separate the truth being sung from the air of its associations? And then, this is the problem. When you're singing A Mighty Fortress Is Our God, you're not supporting, there's no money going to anti-Semitism, right? Yeah. Uh, you're not supporting some cult when you sing it as well with my soul. Mm-hmm. And some people say, but Todd, every time you- um, Stream on Spotify. Yes, the point zero zero three cents is going to this ministry that is propagating mm-hmm. this air. And I will tell you, that is a legitimate concern. Mm. And to those individuals, like, so we have not made the decision to never play a song from a ministry that we don't agree with everything about it. First of all, I don't have the time <laughs> to go through every single song and go, where'd this come from? What's their pastor believe? And what's being taught yeah. in that church? That's, that would yeah. be exhausting. Okay? And so it's easy to, um, to pull out Bethel because certainly mm-hmm. it's um, a place that is of some renown right now. And I, I really respect individuals who just go, you know what, I'm not gonna sing a Bethel song because I think it's doing so much trouble. The trouble with Bethel though is not their music. The trouble with Bethel is- um, That you're leading, that's leading you to the next thing. Yeah, well, and, and there's too many people that will just drink whatever's being served up to, exactly, to them. Exactly, yeah. And so if, if when you play music, if it's gonna make people follow certain areas. By the way, Arianism, there's, um, Arius was a guy who taught a wrong Christology. Mm-hmm. And he actually was a really good lyricist and a really good poet and, 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 and melodicist. He wrote good music. And so he would propagate his air 
through songs that he would mm. write. And that's part of how Arianism spread throughout the, the early church. And so there are some songs that we will not sing from certain places, but yeah. we have not come to the conclusion that we should never sing them. And I really respect people who go, it's a matter of conscience for me. We'll mm -hmm. never sing a song from X, Y, or Z. And I, I respect that. I would say to them, Romans 14, 22, the faith which you have, have as your own conviction before God and happy is he who does not condemn himself and what he approves. Um, if I thought us singing a song uh, was gonna make people be more likely to listen to everything from the church that it came from, uh, I would I would say we're just not going to sing it. It's why, by the way, Watermark is uh, starting to write a bunch of music. Yeah. Let's go. And so uh, we're going to do a live recording here. You can come to Dallas and uh, be a part of our live recording here at the end of May, uh, assuming that the Lord is going to allow us to all gather in settings greater yeah. than 10 Send without some prayers social up. distancing. Send some happening. prayers up. Yeah. That's right. So because there's some amazing songs that yeah. are going to come out. And I will tell you, we're praying every day, God, search us and know us and see if there's any hurtful way in us and anything that's not a part of your everlasting mm -hmm. way. And so we believe the songs that we're gonna sing stand on their own and we think it's gonna trace you back to some real truth if you follow all of our things. And theology. is there time that we're gonna do this on Watermark TV where you're gonna get little glimpses into that? Yeah, actually uh, there is in the days ahead, but you know, folks are gonna watch this on YouTube long after Watermark TV is probably potentially Fair. gone. Very so true. But you can stream it on Spotify very soon, it's coming. It's coming. We're out of time. We are. What are we talking about tomorrow, Coop? Tomorrow, we're just going to answer questions just around generally around the church mm -hmm. and uh, maybe hurt from without and hurt from within the church and wow. answer questions around that. How to so. handle persecution from without and persecution from within if you faced it. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Great Thank stuff. you guys for joining us today and hag Dow. Get a hold right? of me, have Aquafina. A, have, a great day. have a great day of worship. <laughs> Smart water, I'm here for you. <laughs> Don't let the Sani take your, take your uh, product placement. <laughs> See you guys. Hag Dow. <laughs>